Let's take a look at Storage Link, your private cloud file transfer portal. This allows you as the admin to set up a private file transfer portal for your clients so that they can upload files and download files from your private cloud storage locations through a simple drag and drop process in their web browser. So we'll log in here in a minute and show you how you can configure everything on your end, setting up users and permissions, and you can even customize Storage Link so that you can upload your own logo and your own colors to match your branding so that to your clients it will look like you have your very own customized file transfer portal. So this is the login screen. It's pretty straightforward. And the first time you come here, you'll see a prompt to establish your username and password. I've already done that. And so I'll just go ahead here and sign in. And then we can hit OK here. It's telling us that it requires a cloud connection for users to store and retrieve files. And I'll show you where you can set that up in just a moment. I will walk through everything in the left-hand menu, show you each of those tabs and what you can do within each of those pages. But I also first wanted to point out this icon up in the top right-hand corner. So at any point on any page, you can click this and a menu will pop up and it will give you information related to that page to help you. You can also find the information to contact us for free email support here or to access our knowledge base where we have a lot of helpful documentation you can use when you're using Storage Link. So let's jump into each of these menu items over here. When we first open the admin portal, you'll see the folders tab pop up. So this is where you can set up user permissions, cloud connections, credentials, uh, come up with names for the storage account or the container, and you can test your connection. There are also some advanced options as well. And that's it for the folders page. It's pretty straightforward. The users page, we're going to click OK. This is where you can create accounts for your users or for your other admins. And it's important when you do that to make sure you're paying attention to which setting you're going with because you don't want to give a web user access as an admin. So if you're setting up a client and they want to upload or download files from your private cloud storage locations, you would do that here. And the default role of web user is what you would go with. You can also add some notes. There's a spot for you to set up the password. And then you can set their folder permissions. And this is just a really key feature of Storage Link. You can set it up so that different users have access to different folders. And they'll all be accessing things in your private cloud storage, but they can't see what anybody else can see. So you can keep them separate from client to client or however you want to divide up the different users you might have sending you or receiving files from your organization. So that's everything you can do on the Users folder. And then in the Settings folder, there's a lot you can do here with global configuration. So you've got your cloud credentials, identity providers, and then maybe my favorite feature for Storage Link is this one right here the theme customizations. So you can add your own company logo and an icon. You can also change the page title that, that will appear in someone's web browser when they, as a user, go to drag and drop files to you. And you can also change the theme colors to match your branding as well as the font color. So what you can do with this settings right here, with these settings right here, is you can customize storage links so to your clients it will look like your organization has its very own private cloud file sharing portal. And they won't even know that you're using Storage Link. They'll, they'll be using a portal that will be fully branded to match your organization. And then up here in the corner, this is where you can change your own password and where you can log out. And don't forget about this icon here, which will pop up, as I was saying earlier, based on which page you're on. It will give you helpful information related to that page. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website, thorntech.com, and 
subscribe to us on various social media channels and contact us there if you have any questions. You can also just email us at support at thorntech.com. Thanks for checking out Storage Link. And don't forget, it comes with a free 30-day trial on each of the cloud marketplaces, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Thanks for checking out this video.